automotive maintenance and repairs. And maybe one day we can get these guys some dance lessons. Now through September 21st, get a $70 reward card after submission when you buy any set of four new Michelin brand passenger or light truck tires. Find big savings at all Trax Tire Pros locations as we celebrate the opening of our new Foley store. Trax Tire Pros, we're happy to be your neighborhood automotive service shop. Welcome back. It is time to ask the vet each Monday. Dr. John Bentley with the Bel Air Animal Hospital answers your pet questions. We haven't seen you in a little bit. We have missed you thoroughly. I knew you would. <laughs> of course you have. Well, good. So that's why we have questions <laughs> for you. Let's start with Terry's question, Dr. Bentley. Terry wants to know, how can I make my shy dog more sociable? Some dogs, that's really hard. I mean, the obvious answer is you expose them to more social situations, but sometimes that's difficult, especially if they're aggressive. Um, if they're just shy, in other words, you know, when they meet new people, they cower and pee on your foot, you know, that you can usually fix that just by taking them around, making sure they feel comfortable with the person. But some dogs are just like people. They're introverts and they just don't socialize well and and you just kind of have to live with it that way. A lot of pets seem to be like their owners too. Yeah, so. that's true. Are, are dog parks a, a good a way for dogs to interact with other dogs? Depends dog? on how aggressive the dog is okay. or how um, uh, submissive the dog is. If you take it out there and it spends its whole time on its back peeing, <laughs> You know, obviously that's not a good experience. And also, if you're walking along and every dog that walks by or every person that walks by, the hair goes up and it's straining at the leash to bite them, and that's obviously not a good situation These are either. two dogs you've described I've never encountered, and I don't well, We see them to. all the time. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> wow, you really have missed us. Okay, so Terry, hopefully uh, that helps you. Let's go to Deborah's question. My 13-year-old dog chews on the bottom of her paw and blankets. How could I stop this, and is this dangerous to her health? Really not. Um, part of that, the, the sucking on the blankets and everything, that is um, a holdover from, um, I guess in a person you would call it orally fixated. You know, they're, they're, uh, a lot of these dogs and cats are even worse about that. They'll mm -hmm. actually nurse on something that comforts them. Is it and, kind of like um, sucking their thumb if they were a baby? Exactly. Okay. It's exactly like sucking their thumb. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, those kind of dogs, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's not going to hurt them. They, they can make, if they're compulsive about it. They can make sores on the spot they're nursing if they're nursing on themselves. Mm -hmm. um, if it's they're chewing on themselves and itching, then that's going to be allergies. But the key there is that it's doing it to other objects. And that's usually a, like a, a thumb sucking type problem. There's really not much of a way to break them of that. And it's not dangerous. Unless they're making horribly disgusting noises, I would just usually just leave them alone. You can Otherwise, you can try painting the areas that they uh, that they suck on with, mm -hmm. with um, various things to make them taste bad. There's, we have one at our office called uh, Yuck Spray, and it works pretty well. I mean, you spray it on there, and, and they usually will leave it alone. The, um, Hopefully they can't read. Right, but I mean, you know, it's like dogs eat cat poos. I mean, how much worse can it taste than that? Sorry, so. I know you're eating lunch, but <laughs> we, we do have a doctor in the house. Let me ask you this. <laughs> this time of the year, what are the majority of your calls coming into your office? What are they usually about? Oh, it's all skin problems. It's uh, it just lately. It's I feel like a dermatologist. There's mm -hmm. um, everything's coming in itching, sores on the body, scabs everywhere, and it's all allergies. You know, the root of all evil is allergies this time of year. And and um, but you've mentioned before, yay or nay, when it comes to giving a dog or a cat Benadryl. Meant for Benadryl humans. is an excellent drug for certain uses, but itching is not one of them. Okay. Um, it is very poor in controlling itching in dogs. Um, there are other antihistamines that do a better job. None of them do a good job. Mm -hmm. um, there are other drugs that work far better than that for allergies, and you need to discuss that with your veterinarian. I know we don't have time now, but there's basically three tiers of drugs that we use for allergies, and uh, two of them are actually extremely good because they have essentially no long-term side effects. And those are the ones, unfortunately, are the most expensive ones. But um, they do a very good job with very little harm to the animal at all. We call the segment Ask the Vet. We ask, you deliver it. We can't <laughs> wait till next week. Stay with us. We have more coming up after the break. Thanks, Dr. Thank you. We all hope to never be in a serious car accident. But what if you're in one? What should you do? Well, Maloney Frost has an app for that. Car Crash is a free download from Maloney Frost for your smartphone. You can call 911 and show emergency responders exactly where you are. Follow our important to-do list, capture accident photos, and record audio clips to send to our office. 
don't be unprepared. Download the Maloney Frost car crash app before you're in one. Only from the office of Maloney Frost Attorneys at Law. Alabama's largest music festival, Bayfest, October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Kid Rock, Jane's Addiction, Stone Temple Pilots with Chester Bennington, Foster the People, AFI, Magic, Pop Evil, Alabama, Bradley Gilbert, Thompson Square, Blackberry Smoke, Amos Lee, Frankie Ballard, Earth, Wind, and Fire, K. Michelle, Trombone Shorty, and Orleans Avenue, CeeLo Green, Ludacris, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Joan Jet, All That Remains, and many more. Three days, multiple stages. Weekend passes are now available. More information, visit Bayfest.com. Seven day forecast. Ma'am, if you would please. Sure, 50% chance of storms for today. High temp of 91, going to feel as hot as 102. And then we're going to have that front that's keeping those storms around today. Wash out tomorrow, isolated storms possible. 0% chance of wet weather Wednesday. More rain Friday, but nice, cool, and refreshing weekend ahead. It's like a smorgasbord. I mean, there's a little bit yeah. for everyone. You yeah. need your lawn water, there's a day for you. Want the sun? There's a day for you. And the big deal is the weekend weather is looking nice. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you for watching Local 15 News at 12.30. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Local 15 today. We start at 4.30. Stay motivated. In today's economy, we are all trying to find ways to save money without having to give up some of the things that we love. Brian Bluvis is here to tell us how to save money by switching to Dish Network. Well, traditionally, people would have to pay an additional amount for their high-definition channels. And Dish Network is the industry leader in HD programming, so we're able to pass some savings down to the customer by offering more HD channels than any other provider, free, not just for a couple of months or a year, but free for 24 months. Wow, getting HD channels free certainly saves you money. So what are some of the other benefits? Well, the remote is really easy to use and includes parental controls so you can monitor what your children are watching. And then there's also the DVR. In addition to the normal DVR, which allows you to pause, rewind, and record TV, Dish Network now has a multi-room DVR.